Hello everybody and welcome back to the modded character showcase series. Today we're going to try out the tainted version of the deleted. This is a pretty interesting character from what I've heard. Essentially, it's kind of like the normal deleted where we're going to get some TM trainer items, but this time they're more classic TM trainer items. We do have a pocket item that allows us to remove the most recently picked up item in case things get a little wacky as you can see it's called trash. One kind of interesting development with this character, also this is strange, um, I don't know what quite happened there, as you can see we start with TM Trainer, um, but one kind of interesting thing is for one, music's gone, um, and sprites are all messed up, but there was actually an update recently to, um, this is a really kind of hard room here, I'm gonna have to like kind of slice some shots in here, really eerie without music, but that is part of the TM Trainer charm. Um, yeah, one of the kind of interesting things is external item descriptions got an update um, actually after this character released that makes it so that you can now um, see what TM Trainer items do via external item descriptions, which is a little bit unintended for this character, but I think it's going to kind of make him a little, a little fun. And what on... Okay, so I've got to say, I didn't know that this was um part of the deleted's uh the deleted's charm here but it's it's very it's very strange and i kind of like it and um, seems like we started with pretty good stats though god i when when there's like no music like this it feels so eerie to me and it feels like i don't know i feel like i have to like try extra hard to be entertaining in the commentary um because <laughs> It's just, otherwise, it's just eerie silence. Like, I'm not allowed to let there be any dead air. But yeah, we're going to actually get to showcase kind of two different things here. Is that, it's one of those rocks sprites flipped upside down. It is. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to get to try out the tainted deleted character, but also we're going to get to try out the new external item descriptions. What on earth is going on with this dude? <laughs> um, as you can see here, we can actually see what things do. May affect fire rate and range. On use, gain sharp plug for the room, spawn a tech sword tier, then spawn a prey, then gain bird's eye for the room, then deal damage in an area, then fart, and then use the keeper's box. So the one thing that I'm a little unsure about is the is is what it means by then. Like, does it mean that it does the sub like like one after the other, or I'm not really sure. But let's try it out. Okay, it it I think it just did all of them at once. I don't know. If we have birds either, I think we do. But this is not a great active. One thing that is a little bit of a shame with TM Trainer is, um, of course, you do get a lot and a lot and a lot of actives. One good thing, however, kind of interesting thing, is oh, music's back. Uh, I actually have a mod um, made by Pedroff, the one of the creators of the Ipecac mod that he made actually out of one of the ideas I had in a video that essentially makes it so that if you have an active already, your chances to finding future actives is lowered. And I would expect that that will also work with TM Trainer, which is a kind of a godsend because with um, without it, you get, oh my god, you get a hell of a lot, and I mean a hell of a lot of actives. I'm very grateful you gave me a soul heart after that, because that was just a misplay and a half. This is, this is really, really spooky, like having the poops upside down and stuff. By the way, we are going to get hit a good few times in this room. This is a really, really hard boss, um, in my opinion. I think this is quite literally the hardest boss you can get on the first floor. Um, because it's got very low HP, but it just shoots out these dips, like, at such force and in such high volumes, and then it leaves all this slippery liquid all over the floor as well. And, like, they kind of shoot out in this cross-hatch pattern. It, it makes it very difficult to dodge. I mean, we got lucky this time, but, yeah, it can be a real troublesome thing to, uh, not get hit by those dudes. So this one may affect our speed. On kill, chance to gain Pluto for the room, then convert all lit bombs into Chaos Card Tears. When you collect a pickup, deal damage, and then gain Dad's Ring for the room. Ever. This is just ever. Okay, and down we go. And if we'd like to, we could actually remove any of these with the trash can. Of course, we don't need to do that. Kind of the idea of the trash can normally is that you get a lot of items you really don't want. I kind of find it funny that this guy's a blue champion version. You, you get um, a lot of stuff you you probably don't want. Um, I should take all these laxative pills. Um, that you can then delete and, and remove. But now... We kind of have the adverse effect where we don't... Ooh, we don't really need to do that as much anymore. Because, um... 
we know when we don't want to take an item. We can clearly see an item's effect and go, yeah, I don't, I don't want to use that. Oh my god, we're getting lucky with health here. I don't know what put out all those fires, but something did. One, one thing I will say about the external item descriptions thing, oh my god, is that it's not flawless. Mainly in the way that, um, I got lucky then, <laughs> I didn't realize that was a spike chest. Mainly in the way that you can actually get it so that the, um, the item has so many effects on it that they actually go off screen and there can be some hidden effects that you don't see. So you might see a bunch of great effects at the top of the list, but further down, things might not be so good. Like this, for example. Plus two keys may affect luck um, and chest contents. When collector pick up, deal zero damage, gain D1 for the room, uh, deal two damage around you, then another two damage around you. And um, when you take damage, convert all in projectiles in the room into card something. We'll take that. I haven't really been looking at the funky names of some of these items as well, but... Yeah, this this is just basically this is just like the the delete this um, challenge as a character, which I really like because it's kind of fun to be able to do a delete this run in a streak in like a random streak. I I really like that, and that's kind of why um, when I come to adding characters to the randomization, I'm gonna make sure what the hell I'm gonna make sure to keep uh, this character in upside down fly can't hurt you. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so weird. I really like this. I really like this as like an idea. Um, with, with it like messing with loads of other stuff as well. Plus one key, may affect fire on um, speed. On use, deal seven damage in the area around you. Convert all cards in the room to sword tiers. Gain a spinning scent for the room. Let's give that a go. Wait, did that... It lowered our fire rate and upped our speed. And it's a pretty big fire rate down. But... Hmm. Let me just let me just see here. Deal seven damage in an area around you. Okay, so let's let's try this out. This could be really really strong. Seven. Ooh, yes. Okay. 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 We found something cool. <laughs> oh my lord. Um, on room clear, gain tech X for the room, and then use a brimming blood vessel on kill. Chance to use recall and then fart. Give it a go. Why not? Yeah, we've we've already got some pretty wacky stuff going on here. Um, mainly the fact that uh, our active is pretty broken. I will make sure not to comp not to just stick with a broken item if we get one. Like this is going to be a really really busted item here. Um, but we also do get tech X. Oh, we, we only get tech X visually. We don't actually get tech X shots. Um, but yeah, I'll try and swap out my active here to make sure we're not just sticking with an insta win item. If you know what I mean. Um, this is a room that sadly doesn't really work very well, but there you go. Um, heal, plus two red hearts, plus one key. On use, deal damage um, in an area around you. Spawn. Okay. We've got a lot of these deal damage in an area around you ones. They seem to be quite common. Boom. <laughs> I love the coins. That's going to be so fun on late game bosses if we end up keeping it that long. Like I said, I'll try not to, but uh, yeah, the, the in an area around you, heavy quotation, seems to be a very large area. The game seems to consider um, basically everything an area around you. Go, my coin minions. Go. <laughs> Look at them go. Look at them go. I'm just going to let the coins do all my damage. Nice. When a tier is spawned, deal zero damage in an area around you. Then use urn of want on room clear, gain giant cell. When a tier is spawned, why yes room for more? Hmm. I don't know exactly how this one's going to work. I don't know what the urn of want does either. One thing that is really nice about TM Trainer is that it does pull from modded items. It's, it's like set up to support that, which is really nice. Okay, let's try and shoot some enemies and see what happens here. We've got a reflective chest here. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll crack that open. We'll crack that bad boy. Ooh, we're getting spiders on penny pickup, which is nice. Boom. <laughs> this is so good. Lots of pennies. We're, we're weirdly filling in certain gaps as well in, like, the floor and stuff. It's kind of strange. My goodness. 
Right, let's trash this boss and we can go back to the other areas in this floor. This is actually a really good setup if we can get like a lot of um, like an enemy, but what in the hell? That's a lot of cards. Um, okay, we'll take that as well. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm i not quite sure what happened there. May affect tiers on you, steal damage in area around you and use portable slot. Okay, so unfortunately that one's not super good for us. Right, uh, we, yeah, we got a lot of stuff here, so... Let's take the scratch card first. We got another scratch card. That's a lot of trinkets. Ooh, we got a wacky trinket that I really like. Lost Worm. Does some really strange stuff. Sun card will just pop. Another sun card. Unknown will pop. You bitch. You heckin' game. You heckin' game. Why? Why'd you have to do that to me? <laughs> These are the risks we take, I suppose. Plus one bomb gain, sharp room. Sharp plug, sorry, for the room. Convert, pick up ghosts. What the hell? Deal damage. Convert, convert all dogma black holes in the room to diamond tears. Use Curse of Saturn. Let's give it a go. Ah, we're not really getting much out of that one. Okay, so unfortunately we're skipping out on a lot of cards in an item room there. Oh no! Oh ho ho! Sneaky sneaky! I don't know how I did that, but it worked. Aw, oh, bugger. One moment. Okay, I'm back. Unfortunately, we, we did... Uh... Oh, okay, we got the trinket that gives us soul hearts and picking up money. And we got all these spiders as well. Do you know what? That worked out reasonably well for us, I've got to say. That worked out reasonably well for us. <laughs> I love the fact that we got Lost Worm as this character. Lost Worm basically just means that our tears go in whatever direction they want, but they have Herming and Spectral. It's, it's, it's pretty funny. They just start going wacky. Right, what we got here? On kill, chance to deal. Whoa. 15 damage in the area around you and then far. Okay. Sounds good. Catabomb, we put B. I don't know where all these flies have come from either. We got a lot of flies around us now. Secret room here. We should probably at least check that out. Even the shop, considering our money. I realize TM trainers um, items can cost like an insane amount sometimes. It's kind of nice that we can pop those guys whenever we want as well. Yeah, I, I doubt we're going to end up getting much opportunity to use... Um, to use the trash can, to be honest. Whoa, that that, that door is wrong. Um, <laughs> someone messed up that door. So, may affect shot speed on room clear far. Why not? Um, extra black hearts may affect familiars. On hitting enemy chance to convert all grid objects in the room to heart. I don't know how that would work, I'll be honest. So, hmm... Let's go through the Bizarro door. Turn all grid objects into heart. Okay, that did turn the enemy into a heart. That did indeed turn the enemy into a heart. We do also have a arcade here too, which is intriguing, potentially. Um, let's play the hell out of this thing. Nope. Let's play it once and it blow up. Okay. Up to full HP here. Bup, 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 bup. So if I, if I just keep firing like normal, will eventually I hit and everything just... Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't really know what we've created here, but it's it's wacky, I'll tell you that for sure. Whatever we have created, it is kind of a mess, and I love it that way. I definitely need a, need a slightly different active, though. Uh, active, I've grown weary. Pop that in there. Another soul heart. More pills, sadly. I know that I should just be taking the pills anyways. It's a run that's random enough as it is, but... I don't know. Anyways, let's keep going. I can't believe I managed to, like, duke my way out of that, um... <laughs> that error room. That was, like, a bit cheeky. I wonder if the developer of that room knows that that's how that works. If that was, like, an intended out, or if that was a completely unintended effect. But yeah, we definitely have something that's uh, causing us to, um... We're getting so many flies around us. That causing um, us to use Ace of Hearts and Ace of um, Ace of Clubs as well. Like, that keeps happening. 
Not quite sure what that's all about. We could definitely do some fire rate. Whoa, when we get hit, it just spawns. What the hell? <laughs> There's so much happening. The Hierophant. Like, things are just... Oh, do you know, the, like... Those farts, like, layer over each other, and it looks really good. Ooh, reflected item. Okay, so what we got here? First of all, we've got 66% chance to turn into a Zazel after clearing a room. Wow, that's quite a lot. Uh, plus two black arts, on use fart, then deal 17 damage, gain leprosy, convert. Nah, it's not very good. Um, ooh. On room clear, then use singularity, and then use magic skin. That will kill us. Guaranteed. Kind of want it, though. <laughs> Is it bad that I do want to take it? I'm going to take it. I can trash it if I want to. I can trash if I want to. Do, 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 do. And if you don't trash, da, 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 trash. No friends are trash. Future... Oh, God, yeah, we got a broken heart immediately. Okay, so we, we have to... Let's actually use trash here. We can trash that item. Gives us a bunch of stuff on the floor as well. Okay. Um, plus two heart containers. Heal. May affect shot speed. On use, gain silver bar. Eden soul. Then use genesis. Use tear soaker. Gain cold-blooded. Oh, my God. Okay. May affect chest contents. On hitting an enemy, chance to use tear and air. Then gain abaddon. Right, so if I use this, it'll, it'll just use Genesis, right? I feel like I have to, like, yeah, okay. But, hold up. Wait a minute. These are regular items. This, it got rid of TM Trainer. <laughs> um, Grants a curse, all stats up for every active curse while carried. Okay, um... Guarantees a curse every floor. That sounds good to me. That's really good with uh, what we've got going on right now. Um, take that. Red key is really good and reverse cat. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. I'm gonna take sanguine bond. And then Heartbreak. We've got some interesting items going on here. Um, plus one Blackheart rerolls one of your curses. Grants a curse if none are active. Okay. Let's go with that for now. I'll give myself TM Trainer, by the way, after this. Take that. Uh, I'll probably take that there. Okay. We're, we're done. Right. Okay, let's, let's escape. I probably should have laid in the bed to heal up. Thinking about it. Right. Now let's, um... TM... C721. We've got, we've got to give ourselves TM Trainer. It would be way too janky if we just completely spoilt this character. And just removed all of its gimmick. But I kind of find it funny that we now have this interesting setup. Why haven't you so many reflected items? Um, we have this kind of interesting setup now. Um, ooh, that's a six room charge, to be fair. I'll at least pick it up for the keys. Um, where we're getting tears up and damage up for having broken hearts. And we've got a way of giving ourselves more broken hearts. Okay, so Genesis effect is kind of busted on this character. It allows you to really jankily get past his, uh, his main gimmick. Hello, sir. Very rude of you. We've got good damage now, at least. That's nice. A lot a lot better damage than I had before. We need to look for our secret room. Actually, to be fair, thinking about it now, a secret room doesn't actually matter. We should just be using this whenever. Um, on use gain, polydactyl for the room. Ah, oh, damn, that's not very good either. We're not getting very good stuff here. Ow. Oh, my God. I might die. I just realized how low my health is right now. Oh my god, the sprite's changing all the time. It's kind of crazy. It's kind of hard to keep up with what the hell's going on here. Nice. The actual items that we have are very good here. We have some really good stuff going on. C721. 
secret room could be here. Oh, Cares of Creation. Okay. Could also be here. Could also be... Nope, it could not be there. Hmm, okay. I'm a little confused as to where it is now. We might well die, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, hello. Uh, this is a difficult room for me right now. Yep, yep. Hello, Monstro, thank you. Oh, ho, ho, Sig Monstro. What up, boy? What up, my little fella? My little interstellar fella. I don't know why he's interstellar, but he is now. Okay. This is... Invisible care. May affect damage, fire rate, range. When you uh, collect a pickup, convert all cards in the room to poison bomb, then fire, and then use red key. Wait a minute. Hmm. Right. I just... I have to figure this out. Can I... Can I, like, force red key doors? It doesn't seem like it. At least not in this room. Maybe that room just isn't red keyable, but oh, mo. Oh. The upside down, boys. This is bizarre. Sig monster, meet your papa. Oh my god. Because he's upside down, it's so confusing. This could be secret room here. It is. There's an item there that I can't get. Oh my lord. Things have become quite complicated on this run. Quite complicated indeed. Oh my god, I might die. I seriously might die. I am playing poorly right now. Give me that sun card. I, I literally can't even get the sun card. That's evil. Oh my god. I like it when it replaces the enemy's heads. It's so weird. Right, let's just let's just drop magic skin for now. Just because we're not gonna get much use out of it. <laughs> this is so this is great. It's so bizarre. I love it. Whoa, why'd I get teleported there? Uh oh no. What is ha what is happening right now? I'm like all purple and I'm teleporting places. How, what? How did I not get hit just then? I am very confused. Has <laughs> this made me invincible? Because that would be very convenient. <laughs> right, what you got in here for me, game? Plus four coin coins may affect all stats. Um, use bottomless bag. Use trash. No, 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 no. Okay, we can't take that one. Ooh, may affect familiar's on use gain tier game. Uh, use Isaac's. That's also not great. How much gave us black hearts? Wait, does it, does it keep. Oh, it doesn't keep giving us them. That'd be great if it did. May affect fire rate. When you collect a pickup, use singularity, then use breath of life. Give it a go. Right, let's bounce out of here. Okay. I, I'm very slow now at 0 0.5 speed, which doesn't feel great, I'll admit. But fire rate's pretty good. I'm interested to see... That guy gave me a... Yeah, okay. That's a really, really cool trinket. When you take damage, it consumes any pills you have in your pocket and negates the damage and consumes the pill. That is a really, really cool trinket. Whoever came up with that idea, props to you. It's a bit strong if you have ways of getting pills regularly, but otherwise it's pretty... Ow. Oh, God. 
What the fuck? Um... Can someone explain to me what's going on exactly? Well, I think I found a, a rather infinite loop here. Why is that hurting me? Wait, I'm not dying. Okay, now I'm dead. Okay, that gave me quite a lot of broken hearts is what I'm realizing now. Well, anyways, that was, uh... <laughs> oh my lord, this got wacky. Let's, let's, let's run it back another time, shall we? Because the thing is that the beauty of this is it can be so wacky in so many different ways. I don't know why our first room is uh, all on fire, by the way, and none of my, none of my others are. But let's let's run it back once more and see if we can get some more wacky stuff going on. What on earth? What what's what's this doing here? Why is there a teleporter there? Where does it teleport you to? <laughs> this is great. I love this, despite the no music. <laughs> Oh, I, basically, I think what was happening there is I was gaining a broken heart every time I picked something up, and I just eventually killed myself. And the reason I wasn't dying and I was left at half a heart was because I had heartbreak. And heartbreak was saving me. I'm taking a lot of dumb damage right now. This is kind of an evil room for the first floor of this. It's okay, we can th take care of it pretty easily, but still. This is a... The little haunt dude enemies are really annoying at the best of times, but not when they've got, like, a bunch of other enemies circling them. <laughs> right. See what we get for our first item here. When you take damage, gain Twisted Pair for the room. On kill, chance to fire, and then gain Devil's Box for the room. Gaining Devil's Box kind of might kill us. Because I'm pretty sure Devil's Box, it depends if it uses it or we just gain it. Because if it uses it, then that could be problematic. I do want to see... Real quick. Let's get that going. If this teleporter does anything. Okay, it doesn't. It did actually turn off the light on it as I walked over it, though, which is kind of weird. Definitely grab that. Okay. Right. This is bizarro. So, yeah, because I'm pretty sure it's 50% um, 50 chan 50 chance to either hit, hurt you for three health or give you two devil deal items. So, if it actually uses it on kill, we could see some significant issues. Really, that didn't kill you? God damn it. Oh my god, I'm really bad with bombs right now, apparently. They were my only two bombs, you. May affect attack type. When you take damage far, then convert all collectibles in the room to a splurt. When you pick up a collectible... Okay, that sounds cool. Oh god, it yelled. Right. Let's go. Oh, this is just wackiness at its core, isn't it? This is just peak wackiness. I absolutely love it. Oh my god, the doors again. Oh! See, they, you think it's the deleted making these spiders do all these wacky moves. Then you realize they just do that. They just do that. Oh, hello. Do you know what? I couldn't be prouder of that. May affect chest contents. On use gain Damocles for the room and spawn more. Uh, then, ooh, and use D100. Um, what? I'm doubly confused as to what's happened here. What the heck? Um, what? Well, we didn't gain Damocles, I can say that for sure. Hmm. <laughs> we did reroll some of our items into non-TM trainer items, oddly enough. It re -roll What the heck? Okay. Developer. This is an... I also, what is going on there? Developer, this is a good idea. Um, let's make it so you can't roll out of TM Trainer as this character. Because that, what on earth, is uh, kind of making it a bit weird. Because that re-rolls TM Trainer as well, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't give us Damocles, though, which is a bit sad. So let's just keep this for a little bit. 
Do a few rerolls and then we'll get rid. We're just going to keep giving ourselves a uh, TM trainer back to keep on theme with this character. That was risky as shit, but I did it anyways. It's, I, I love like the, the slight like oddities of just a poop being upside down. May affect fire rate. Um, let's do that first. Whoa. This has put us where exactly? This has got... I've got a lot of fire rate right now. Wow. Okay. A lot of fire rate. Holy hell. Right. So let's say... Let's then give ourselves this back. And then we're not going to use our active again. Yeah. Just like the, the slight oddities of, of one... Um, one object just being upside down. May affect all stats. Okay. Let's try it out. Literally just give us a speed down. We do have jetpack right now, though. Although, the question is, do we just have jetpack visually, or do we actually have it? There's a very strong possibility that we only have it visually. Okay. The farts are doing a good job for us right now. This little haunt seems to be pointless. Okay, there you go. You finally decided you wanted to attack. Good for you. Okay, we are actually flying. Good. Whoa! One of the um, one of those dudes at the back just being uh, <laughs> being upside down looks so weird. Ooh, heart biscuits, real good. I kind of do want to re-roll again, though. I've got to say, I'm gonna do it. We got almond milk. Almond milk plus angry tears seems like an interesting setup. We seemingly still have... Okay, we still have flight. We also have purity going on as well. Ta actually takes away a like, mahoosive amount of our damage. Making this whole setup significantly worse. My lordy lord. <laughs> this is so weird. I love it. I can barely kill these things. Go back to the item room after this. Good, good. Okay, this time we got some kind of dookie items. Although, Goat Head. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe maybe Goat Head's not going to be that good for us because we don't really want to be trading Devil Deals. Whoa! Now there's some wacky tears. <laughs> what on earth tier like variety is that? Like, the spiders just, like, wait there for their impending doom. It seems like no matter what we do, we always have flight, which is nice. Is that an ancient recall? Yes, it is. The sun. Easy. Ow. Uh, whoa. What the hell's going on here? Um, I have my twisted pair. Yeah, this seems like a good stopping point for my items here. My rerolls. I, whenever whenever a bomb spawns, we get a red bomb. That's kind of interesting. This room's not over, apparently. Okay, there you go. Right. Let's go back and open up our uh, item room here. And our shop, too. Because the shops are free now. We've got abundance. So let's give ourselves TM Trainer back. Pop in here. Don't really know what happened there. But we'll, uh, we'll accept it for what it was. There's a sus boy in there. Okay. I'm just going to waste bombs to speed, to speed up this process a little bit. I don't know why I bombed through to then come down to then use a key. Pretty weird, but it's been done. Alright, we don't have TM Trainer at the minute, do we? Right, now we do. Good. Okay. This has been an odd journey. This has been very bizarre through and through. But we have reached a point now... Where things make a moderate amount of sense. But what a wild adventure this has been. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're firing saw blades here and there. Ow. Use more of the void. Oh, a theme. I think it is more than more of the void, isn't it? 
Okay. You're dead. Minus one heart container heals you. May affect um, on use. Damages an area. Ooh, that's Unfortunately, that's not something we can take. Although, I will at least pick it up. Actually, it's decent enough. It's decent enough. Right, let's go. Maybe it gives you Damocles and immediately re-rolls it with that last item we have. Okay, this is weird too. I'm liking these saw blades though. I will tell you that. I'm very much liking these saw blades we got going on. They're helping a lot. Not found any red hearts yet to, to take advantage of our um, trinket. That lets us use red hearts in excess to um, heal up. Really? You're going to push that bomb out of the way? Thank you. Ooh, we got the experience bar, which for some reason isn't TM trained. Possibly because that's a room that always spawns with experience bar. It's like a, an actual room where the item is placed rather than it being a random item. Which if so, I would recommend removing said room because that's a very weird thing to have. But that might be the case. We might as well play the hell out of this. Okay. On room clear, gain bed, bed cage. Gain luminous flare for the room. May affect damage and luck. When a card is spawned, deal damage in area. On kill, chance to deal damage um, and use the experimental remote. Let's give that a go. Why not? Whoa. Double two of clubs. Uh, uh, dub uh, uh, not, not double two of clubs. Okay. Ace of clubs as well. I see. Still very strong though. Okay. So we did teleport. Then that's probably the experimental remote coming into play. Oh, that does a lot of damage. Okay, our active actually is pretty good here. On use, use Tammy's head, uh, gain black doll, use banana peel, gain magic scab. Do you know what? Seems decent enough. Oh, for fuck's sake. What just happened? All my items disappeared. I don't know what experimental remote does. So experimental remote could be a... Uh, could be our undoing, actually. We could be uh, getting some pretty solid <laughs> misses by deleting items and stuff through experimental remote. I don't, I don't know what's, what, what that's doing for us right now. A bit of lemon party to help us out. We do seem to be teleporting an awful lot, though. It teleports us to the enemy that we got killed at, which is kind of strange. Ow. We leveled up again here. Take care of you. The fire's pretty good here from our jetpack that we don't have. Did not get to see what that did at all. Um, I'm, not, I'm really not sure what our active does. It seems to just make me go all bouncy. May affect tears um, on room clear fart, then convert all... 1,000.31416 in the room to a small tier. When you fire tier, chance to fart. Pills, pills, pills. Strange. Da- Oh, I know what's going on. May affect damage fire on kill, gain skatol. When you take damage, gain echo chamber for the room. So, we have a fun little thing going on here where we have the effect of that penny that can ruin your life that is normally an excluded item that you can't normally find. Can, can you stop for a minute so I can get this? So whenever we pick up pennies, we're going to get things like haunted penny and some really evil effects. One of them can just straight up kill us, so that's going to be uh, a whole... That's going to be a hoot. Oh my god. Every time I kill an enemy, I teleport to where that enemy was as well. Come on. Oh, Hierophant. Save you of my life. Thank you. Right. This has been very strange thus far. We've had two back-to-back -back pretty strange runs with this. I would like to get a better active. I'll tell you that for sure. 
That is something that's on my mind. But the minute our actives have been kind of dookie. Curse of the Cure. There's more jumping from beneath. That time we did not get a negative penny effect. Maybe it's random chance. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it was attached to an item that we had before and now we don't have it anymore. We'll find out here, won't we? Nope. It, it was not. Vanishing penny. Chaos Penny, Recursive Penny, Vanishing Penny. We're going to see a lot of that. We're going to be seeing a lot of that. And there's going to be some pretty wacky side effects of that too. If we get any way of spawning money as well, that's going to that's gonna result in some stuff. On kill, chance to fart the new Singularity. Um, May affect Familiar's on room clear. Yep, why not? We're just taking everything we can get at the minute. So yeah, the chance to use Singularity seems pretty busted. Damned Penny. Ah, good. Here he is. It, it, it was only a matter of time. Oh no, now there's fucking two of them. And you can't kill them anymore, so that's good. Deadly Penny. What on the flippity fuck is going on right now? Rock Penny. I don't even know. On you skin. Holy light for the room. I need to read game. Just why not? Cheese it. Fuck me. Okay. This is uh, pretty horrible. Oh my lord. Dice penny. Recursive penny. Another damned penny. Just to really mix it up somewhat. Bent penny. Oh my lord. This is, uh, quite something. I have died. <laughs> yeah, it was bound to happen. Anyways, well, that was pretty bizarre. And that's the, that's the tainted deleted experience. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next one.